Dude, where are you? I'm in huge trouble, man. And you need to get me out of here. They're asking me to pay 1,500 liras. This was an amazing night that I had with you. Lots of ceremonies, Hunter's Masters, our guests. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. One fine night, I was sitting on my couch. I got up and decided to be Christopher Columbus. Travel and explore to a place that I've never been before. When I was in the process of planning, I came to know that one of my colleagues, who happens to be a very good friend of mine, is traveling to Turkey. So I thought, Turkey. Beautiful place, rich in culture, historical places. So I went up to my friend and shared the idea of traveling with him. And all was set. Now my friend had already reached there before me, so I was relaxed that he would be picking me up from the airport. But when I landed, I realized that I was left hanging at the airport. But hey, it's me we're talking about. <coughs> yeah. I came fully prepared. With Turkish currency ready in my pocket, hotel details saved in my phone, I walked towards the taxi stand. Now here is where the real war began. It's 6 o'clock in the morning and no one speaks English. Great! Just great. But hey, it's me. I somehow managed my way to reach the hotel to an apartment door that was not being answered. After continuously ringing the phone of my friend and banging on the door for almost an hour, MJ finally opened the door. By MJ, I don't mean dead Michael Jackson. <laughs> Muhammad Jihad al Wazani. <laughs> as soon as he got in, I crashed on the sofa because I was so tired. Next morning, when I woke up, Angelica Maria Garcia from Mexico. And my other friend, Abed, was desperately looking for an underwear. <laughs> <laughs> now I got up, met them, showered, had my breakfast, got ready, and this guy was still looking for his. <laughs> <laughs> now we were ready to explore Istanbul. And Abed had to leave with us, beloved underwear. But this was our routine for further few days, until my last night in Istanbul. When I decided to go out alone and explore the city all by myself, I was near that same square, and a guy approached, asking for a letter. After chatting for a little while, he asked me to join him. Join him as he was going to a lounge. Now, I always love adventures, so I thought to myself, why not? So we went to this fancy looking lounge, sat down, and I asked him where to get me a Red Bull. After a while, the guy I came with, he asked, can those two girls join us who were sitting across the table as a new And I immediately said, of course. Now who can say no to a beautiful company? Soon, drinks started coming in, and then more coming in, and then I started getting so I told them that I had to take the lead. I called for the check, which we decided to split. Now I, being a gentleman, thought of paying the bill myself. So I stretched out my hand, took the bill. Oh, 300 liras, wait a second. 3,000 liras! My already bulged out eyes were about to fall on the table. I turned towards my new friend, pretending to be. And I told him that there seems to be a problem with the bill. He looked at it and said, Yes, my friend, you pay up 1500 liters. What he didn't understand is I was trying to explain that I cannot pay that much amount because I just have 30 years in my pocket. So 
So I immediately called my friend, MJ, dude, where are you? I'm in deep trouble, bro. And you need to get me out of here. They're asking me to pay 1,500 dinars for Red Bull. And this is how he responded. <laughs> what? You too? Ali, what have you done? But when I explained to him that I could not turn serious, he asked me for another location. And within a few minutes, he flew in like a superhero. Took over the sea. And he walked out of that place without paying a single thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I sometimes ask myself, what would have happened if MJ was not there? What I would have done? I was lucky to have my friend with me, who at times acts like an elderly figure to me. I was lucky to have my friend with me that day. Now you can be friends with your siblings, parents as well. All you have to do is to live every moment of prayer and thank the Almighty for His blessing. So take this as an opportunity and call out to your friends or best friends and tell them that how much you love them and how thankful you are to have them in your life. As it is said, friendship is one of the hardest things in the world to explain. It is not something that you learn in school. But if you haven't learned the meaning of friendship, you haven't learned anything. My friends, friendship is one of the true blessings that if you have a pure one, you can consider yourself as one of the actions person on this planet. As friendship is born at the moment when a person says to another, What? You too? I thought I was the only one. Master servants, 